Okay, installing the mount for the bike console on the bike. Basically what you do is you push the strap, start pushing the strap in and turn the Allen key at the same time and it slowly works the strap through. Once you have it nearly tightened, you might want to adjust the angle to, just, to get it at a comfortable viewing angle for your phone. Not that I'm sure you're going to be viewing your phone while you're bicycling because that wouldn't be safe, but just on the off chance that you might want to do that. Okay, now we have the bike console mounted on the bike. You have an additional screw here which you tighten in to uh, secure your phone to the in its bike console mount to the bike mount and then you are good to go. Looking how it's attached onto the Trek bike we have the old mount for the iPhone 5 next to it looking pitiful and um, small and poorly protective and then we have the bike console which we're nicknaming the Death Star in our household but sure that it is super, super protective. Overall, the 6 Plus is big in that configuration on the bike. Ideally, it will have to be 90 degree turned, which means this, this uh, holder will have to be installed in the stem rather than in the handlebars in order to achieve the position since this particular installation this particular configuration doesn't allow for the phone to turn 90 degrees on the holder as installed right now so we'll have to remove it from here and replace the iPhone 5 holder with the iPhone 6 Plus in a 90 degree switched configuration we actually have uh, discovered that the uh, console and the mounting bracket actually can be can accommodate for the phone inside the inside the holder to rotate. Having said that, I still think that the bike is going to be better if it is in its vertical position but mounted on the stem. Why? Because most bike tracking programs operate in a vertical mode and really do not like the the horizontal. They like the portrait rather than a landscape view on the phone. So when I turn the phone sideways, the bike program actually did not react at all and it stayed sideways as you can see in the actual screen. So you can imagine as you're biking, it will be really uncomfortable for you to turn your head sideways <laughs> to see any detail on the screen.